thought I would show you how to make a Christmas tree. It's getting to that time of the year because by the time I uh, and by the time I get these thrown and glazed and fired, it'll be time for fall Christmas buying and decorating and all that. And of course, as you know, the stores stores all have their stuff out by August. It's crazy. But you can compete by being prepared ahead of time for, for the season, upcoming seasons. Okay, so with, and you can use any amount of clay. It doesn't have to be just this, but I just thought I'd tell you so you'd have some idea of how much more or less you can use. In fact, these would be really cute in different sizes, maybe a group of three. And it would be cute as a miniature to put on a secretarial uh, desk for the season. Okay, so I'm going to open it, but not all the way to the floor. Well, actually, I think I'm going to make a little small circle in the floor, but when I open it, I'm going to leave a little bit of clay on the bottom. So there will be a hole in the bottom, but as I pull it open, I'm going to lift my finger off the bat just a little bit to leave uh, just kind of a sliver, I guess. I hate to say sliver because I don't want you to cut yourself on something really, really thin, but it'll be just uh, like an eighth of an inch or something or less. I'll show it to you here in a minute when I get it open and sponged out. And the reason I'm going to leave a little sliver, you don't have to. You can open it and spread it out open all the way to the, almost to the edge if you want to. But the reason I, I'm going to change my, I had this little idea of putting it on a little kind of a foot thing. So like to represent this, the trunk of the tree. You'll see in a minute. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. Over here. Can you see that? So there's a little opening in the middle. And then from here out to here is just very thin. It's not even a quarter of an inch. It's probably an eighth of an inch or less right here. We're going to pull the wall. And I'm going to keep it going towards the center because Christmas trees are cone-shaped, right? Basically. And once you get it up this high, you can get back in there and straighten that out if you need to. Slow down, nearly belly. Okay.
I'm putting a dowel down into the center and just to offer some resistance in there because I can't get my hand down in there anymore. So now I'm going to try to close the top. Now, you got to slow your wheel down to do this because you really don't want to be doing this real fast. I think I'm going to use that little yellow one. Now, you don't want to dig into the clay too much because you don't want to cut it. But you want to make an impression. And we may need to poke a hole in it down here so we can let some air out while we're working on it. So don't be afraid to because the air is, is like a balloon. If you push on it hard enough, you're going to puncture it. So let's see. Let's go down to right about here and do another one. Now... You can you gotta have both hands on here. If you let go, you'll knock it over. So I'm sort of with this hand, with my left hand, I'm a, just a little bit, I'm pushing slightly down on the top of the, of the circle, or I guess branch, if you will. Um, so I'm pushing sort of down on it to make it, to make it uh, look like it's draped or hanging or falling or whatever you want to call it. So let's work on this guy right here. This one needs help really bad. I'm going to pinch that off because it makes it too tall, out of proportion kind of tall. So add some, some personality to it. Let's get this up here. Okay. So let's just try, that's not working. Maybe I'm just gonna take something a little stronger than that. Probably pretty heavy down here on the bottom. Maybe my finger. Now maybe my thumb.
You have to resist using the sponge on this until it's set up quite a bit. So you can add some little divots like that. And then I'm going to show you how to add lighting to it if you want to. Let's do a few on the top. All right. Okay, so so you've got some little fanciness on it and you can take your time and do that a lot better than I'm doing. Um, if you want to light it, and it's totally possible to light it by putting uh, little holes in it and then make sure your holes are big enough for those little, those little LED bulbs, uh, those little colorful LEDs to um, to uh, show up or to go through it. And so you need to make those 15% larger than they need to be. So measure the diameter of your lights that you're going to put in there. So I suggest if you're going to do one of these that you get your lights ahead of time because you never know what's going to be available at the store and or in your stash of Christmas looking stuff decorations and things um, so so you can use one of these or a straw uh, if you use one of these this is a Bill Van Gilder uh, hole puncher perforator thing so decide where you want the hole I let me just poke one it's really too wet to be doing that but I'll poke one anyways just to show you so you can, uh, the further up you push this in, or the further in you push it, the larger your hole is going to be. So I usually start turning it back and forth like so. And believe me, for those little lights to go through, you're going to need those holes to be larger than a straw. and Because I've done it, been there and done that. So figure out how many lights you have and don't poke more, more holes than lights you have and if you count them and then evenly space the, the holes around your tree so it'll, be, uh, so it'll be sort of evenly distributed. Okay, so uh, let's see. I guess let it sit there and set up. I'm gonna show you the little gizmo I'm gonna put on the bottom and then I'll show you some that are finished. There was a couple that I had left from last little foot thing I had in mind to put on the bottom of that Christmas tree. My, my other ones just sit flat on the surface and pretty close to the ground. And I thought, well, maybe I'll see if I can do something to lift this one up and lift a little bit. Put one of those. little feet on it. I guess I could put actual feet on it like little balls of clay for feet. You're not going to see them much but this will give it a more formal look than little balls. Little balls are kind of playful. So I'm going to, I've got probably less than a quarter of a pound. I'm um, going all the way to the bat. And I just dug some clay out of the splash pan and didn't wedge it very well, so it might be even lumpy, but for the purposes here of instruction, I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to open it out, and let's see. Whoa, there's a lump. So I think that that might be big enough. That might be big around enough to I'll make it a little. So I've opened it up and I've tried to let's clean out that middle part. And 
old experienced people like myself, I can probably get by with without making it perfect because I know what this is gonna be used for. All right, so there we go. We've got something that's kind of looking like that. Looks like the bottom of some of those balls we've done and the little handle that we did on the special needs cups. And so let me compress my rim on that. I can see that I didn't do that. And this is going to be decorative, so I'm not taking the same amount of care as I would if this was going to be something in somebody's hand all the time being used. So here I am with the little Christmas tree. It's fairly, it's kind of set up. It's not anywhere near dry, but I thought I'd put a little texture on it here and there and see, see how that worked out. I have a just using a chopstick. This just makes little places where the glaze can break. And we'll get that off later. Stop it and see how that looks. It looks very pretty. That's gonna be nice when the <clears throat> when it's glazed. And I can get all those little crumbs off of it later. So what I want to do now is put some holes in it. I had one in there from earlier, but I think I'll put a few more. The little um, the little strings of lights with the with the little battery operated doohickey on it. Those come twenty to a set. And let's see. So there's one, two, and so um, let's see. There's three. And you know what? You can also do something else I just thought of. Um, if you don't want to put lights in it at all, you can also take, let's see, take some clay out of the tray. Let's see if I can find something that's soft enough. Too soft. make some little balls and stick in there. So, I mean, it's just like sticking a little, I don't know, you can also make a long snake. Oops, I make my little ball. <laughs> Make a long snake, you can control the size of them a little easier that way. So, I'll just show you on one. Then you can use underglaze and uh, paint them different colors. And that might be a really nice way to finish it out. So you could stick, stick the little balls in there like that. I like that. I think I'm going to do that with the rest of them. Oh, oh, whoa. Yeah. 
Yeah, and let's put that one up there. They kind of stick because it's still so wet, so, but but you'll probably have to put some slip around them to to make them actually stay there. Especially through the fire ringer, you'll be down in the bottom of the kiln trying to find all those little things. See, I put one right there and one right there. Okay, I wanted to show you this before I put it away. I we, we added texture a minute ago, but I put these little balls in here and then I just couldn't resist poking each one with a little hole with the tip of my uh, chopstick. So I don't know how I'm going to glaze it. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do to glaze it. So I'm thinking about that. But also wanted to show you this. This is the little foot. Well, I had it off of there a minute ago, but I'm also going to be putting this little foot underneath it, and I'll show you that when I when I get to there. So here's the little tree. I put the foot on it. It looks just like that. It looks like that on the bottom. This is one of the little Christmas trees that I have lights in. There's this little guy. Let's move this one off of here. And we'll put this one up here. This is just uh, without lights. The holes go all the way through, but it's just very plain and There are a couple that are finished for you, so you have a good look at them. Those lights are bright. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.